May 4th, 2012. A day of such non-importance when you realize that you were going to insert a joke here about the events of that day just to see a bunch of May the 4th be with you memes? Man, remember when Star Wars was king? But as fate would have it, the internet is wrong. Something did happen that day. And no, I'm not talking about that, you dirty, dirty bastard. An event so catastrophically successful, a double-edged sword type of an event so miraculously devastating that the effects are not only still here, felt, and seen, but a spectacular disaster that somewhat shaped our society, experience, and culture as a whole. Gracing while at the same time damning Hollywood and the paying audiences to one of, if not the greatest cinematic achievement crafted right in front of our very eyes, to the now burning hellscape of the seemingly endless void of hemorrhaging money, infected with the disease of sequels, reboots, requels, and rehashes. But by now, if you're anyone who's been in the Hollywood algorithm here on YouTube, or someone who's been an unlucky lucky passenger on the roller coaster ride itself or someone who just simply hasn't been living under a rock you would have guessed by now that we're talking about the avengers 2012 undoubtedly one of the most exciting and immersive cinematic experiences of all time a combination of already recognizable fan favorites as well as newly introduced characters that have already started to mold and shape into the characters that we know them as today. The reliability, relatability, charisma, and stoicism that we've come to know and love, injecting new life into the Hollywood landscape at the time, as well as providing us, the audience, a perfect capsule of one of the most purest forms of fun and escapism that I can truly remember. And as much as this can be a video about how much I could gush over the Avengers movie and what was to become of such a feat, the character development, character development stages, iconic lines, lore building, it's incredible, impactful, the memorable set pieces and basically how much success it's done for the Hollywood landscape and audiences as a whole, which we'll still definitely get into. But more than that, the Avengers film as a whole was unknowingly and unfortunately a collaborating pioneer and eventual commander-in-chief for the future of Hollywood, the paying customer, and the burning hellscape of seemingly forever-ending creativity downfall that we happen to coexist in today. Pretty much revitalizing, creating, and recapturing the past essence of an industry-wide manifest destiny gold rush, like guppies drawn to bread in a pond, or like cats drawn to the red laser with their little kitten mittens, leading and guiding each individual studio, or some even in a collective manner, all racing against each other, and more importantly, time to deliver the next big thing, the next big event, the next Avengers. And while at the time of recording this video, in light of the still ongoing WAGA, SAGA, SWAGA, MAGA? Wait, no, 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 not that. Strike. Oop, never mind. That's a little awkward, but I guess moving on. As well as the more recent shift in, more annoyingly, shoving in your face of agenda and representation, and quite frankly, the now obviously increasing amount of terrible movies compared to not. Even in the eyes of some of the most casual of audience members, let's be very candid here. We're at a point in our Hollywood history where, in some rare cases, it's more suitable for a studio, not only financially, but also in the wake of the forever expanding fan voice and collective opinion with the growing influence of social media on our society, to straight up ban movies to the Shadow Realm post-post-production. What the fuck is going on there? Yeah, that, my friends, is unheard of and something that a criminal investigation should definitely be opened up for. And while hindsight is 2020 and pretty much a bigger pain in the ass than karma, for a long time, it wasn't all doom and gloom. And there were many, many great things to come out from the cinematic and cultural event that was the Avengers. 
So let's talk about them. The pros. So for starters, the obvious one, the idea of an entire interwoven and continuous cinematic universe was never deemed possible. And while shakeups and crossovers have been around in existence for decades at this point from different mediums like comic books and were famous in my generation growing up with some true heavy hitters like That's So Sweet Life of Hannah Montana, Wizards on Deck with Hannah Montana, and if you really wanted to get into some goat conversations, you watch Jimmy Timmy Power Hour. God, we had such a good childhood when it came to our entertainment. Hit the like button if you know what I mean. But you know what I mean. Point is, a cinematic universe of such a scale that the MCU was planning on had never been attempted, let alone pulled off in such a massively successful way. And at the time, the endless amount of possibilities was overwhelming in the sense that in the eyes of studio executives, the idea of non-success simply paled in comparison to the hypothetical revenue stream a strategy such as this could entail. And while in theory, especially from a fan's point of view, such a strategy could entail big wins for them as well, creating the ability for bigger and more bombastic storylines and journeys, as well as creating a relatively safe and understanding scenario for some of your favorite characters to interact with each other, as well as introducing the idea, much like on the story and narrative side of things, to have bigger and more creatively in-depth character writing and arts to go alongside with the expansive direction that Hollywood was going in. <laughs> yeah, look at me, man, big old clown mask on me, huh? But we didn't know at the time, and simply the pure hypotheticals and ideas were enough to propel the movement forward into pre-production. And while things were just now starting to cook up when it came to the competing studios studying how to replicate this page of the MCU Bible, Kevin Feige in the MCU never left the lab experimenting and inevitably cementing their legacies not only in Hollywood, but history as a whole, with some of the most impactful cinematic moments and iconic lines of all time. With debatably the most impactful cinematic event in Hollywood history with Avengers Infinity War and Endgame, as well as the greatest cinematic achievement of all time with the success of the Infinity Saga, pretty much creating an environment of continuous billion dollar movie going experiences ending in a phase where six of their 11 released films were able to accomplish such a massive feat. The MCU was no joke, or at least it didn't used to be. And because of that, the movie going experience as a whole throughout that decade was a true blockbuster era. I alluded to it a couple videos ago when discussing Aquaman and its unpredictable sequel, but the summers of 2016 through 2018 were truly no joke. Like I'm not even exaggerating in the slightest, it truly saved Hollywood. And while yes, I'm about to discuss how that very mold has also damaged Hollywood to a point of almost in what sometimes seems like a permanent non-repair and recall, let's not erase from our memories the golden age of entertainment that we were all witnessing. That would be a true disrespect to not only our past selves, but to everyone that worked on these movies during this decade. But enough of that. Let's get into some slander, shall we? The cons. <sighs> oh man. Okay, so the cons are glaring. When it comes to the creation of the MCU and cinematic universes and the effects of the Avengers as a whole, with each passing year, its effects grow more and more powerful, disassembling and ravaging our dying embers of hope through a better future of cinematic storytelling. I tell all of my friends, and I'll tell you guys here now, as I mentioned before, in theory, the hypothetical ideas and sheer possibilities that came with the idea of a cinematic universe was overwhelming at the time. With proper planning, proper ideas, and the right people in charge, the state of Hollywood entertainment we could have seen is in all honesty, unimaginable. And there's a multiverse out there where 
those versions of ourselves are living and relishing in that dystopia, then we get this. Man, why can't we just have nice things? Again, as mentioned before, the what I now deem the entertainment gold rush of 2012 was catastrophic to say the least. Being one of the first times in my lifetime that unfortunately now has become commonplace to notice a significant divide of the audience, the paying customer, and the studio executive. Both parties taking away different lessons in the success of the Avengers and how it could change and shape the landscape as a whole going forward. Without the time, studios consciously choosing and paving a path to crafting cinematic universes with a rushed and unfocused vision, not understanding the craft, dedication, and time put into developing that type of partnership between audience and character, or let's say audience and creative vision, and more times than not, the lack of pre-production work was shown on the big screen, and more importantly, in the box office. People say that cinematic universes and that the superhero genre as a whole has destroyed the creativity that Hollywood once had, therefore inevitably creating a desolate void of plots that we live in today. But I disagree. The cinematic event that was the Avengers and the creation of the MCU and the idea of the cinematic universe as a whole didn't destroy Hollywood or even Hollywood creativity. What it did was give Hollywood and Hollywood executives this false sense of security that the idea, the idea, was all that was needed without taking a deeper dive into their competitors' successes to truly understand and replicate what was done. And while that lesson continues to not be learned, understood, or comprehended by the executives in charge, I will still continue and forever hold true in believing that Marvel's The Avengers was the greatest successful disaster that Hollywood or we have ever seen. Of course, as always, I want to thank you guys for watching the video, and if you enjoyed, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. I don't know if I really sounded like it from the video, but I really do believe that the Avengers really impacted the Hollywood landscape in a very positive way. And there's a multiverse out there where those people are receiving those benefits in glorious fashion. Unfortunately, we just have soggy potatoes who probably drool on their pillow every night and have Siri tell them the difference between right and left as our studio executives. Unlucky. Again, I want to thank you guys for watching today's video. Make sure to like and subscribe. But otherwise, that's all the words I got for you today. Bye.